we're at maximum now. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, we're gonna have to go down there and get some stuff. Why am I going into a crypt? Because most likely one of the emblems that I need is down here. And also a monster. Yep, there is something there. There is something around the corner here. Yeah, one of these guys. Might be another one. Unclear at this point. <sighs> okay, we we can grab one of these though. The omen key item. Good. Mm. Hmm, yeah. Man, a few. Okay, we got one of those over there. I wonder if we can bust through the thing. It should be able because I saw it bust open through like a. Crypt brick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, this being is the result of the fusion of two corpses. Weird. I will take another sledgehammer. Even though this one has seen not a lot of use. Oh, well, apparently it was supposed to take a lot more damage. I will apply bandage. And I will know that there is another one over there. We're at full health. We're sneaking up. We're being sneaky. Ammo. That was difficult. I will apply bandage and grab this one. Okay, we got one that's done. Where did the other come from? Because I know. Oh! I thought my sledgehammer was about to break. But it seems to be okay now? Did I grab another one? So strange. Okay, so I guess we need to go over there. Because that's where the big bad guy with the like a hentai tentacle appear from. And this is where we get yeah, this is where we went down. Because we enter from here, right? So we go, went over that. Yeah, there's a shovel. We came back from over that. We need to go over here. And reload 
everything. And of course, we need to go over here. You know, this guy is taking everything here, all of these supernatural happenings, huh. with a remarkable, like, nonchalantness. Like, he's just like, huh. Oh, interesting. I'll try to be stealthy. Difficult when the, everything is flooded here. Okay, I guess we have hmm. the blessing and the old. Select medallion, rotate. Okay. Select medallion. Rotate. No. Okay, so this one goes over there. And this one, rotate. And that one. Rotate. Good. Everything collapsed, right? Let me just take a look. Yep. We're going this direction now. I wonder what the additional slot for weapons is, like... We get a... a bazooka. Okay, we got a lot of... calls and bones. Yep. Not good. A lot more bones than skulls, if you ask me. Kinda weird. Okay. Easy. Check the corners. Check the ceilings. Because that's how they get you. Okay, why, why is this here, if you're not giving me anything? This is just a bullcrap. If you put like a side tunnel like that, I expect ammunition and or health to be there. I will accept this ammunition. That was not good. I died. Okay, so I guess I need to make a run for it then. Okay, where are we? Oh yeah, where did everything collapse? Good. Okay, we got the bones. I guess what we need to do over there is make a run for it. Nothing here, right? No, nothing. Okay, he's gonna bust through over there. So I'm running. There's too many of them. Gotta get out of here. Yep, I'm making a run for it, bro. I'm running. Thank you.
Okay, everything collapsed, so we're good. Yeah. Hope you stupid monsters got squished. So, it is not always about fighting the monsters. Even though with the proper amount of ammunition, I could. Sometimes you just gotta make a run for it. At least I did not waste a lot of ammo on this one. Yeah, we got the other medallion. And I guess we go up there. The sacrifice, key item. Rusty played it on with lost allegory. Now what do we got here? We got the things, bro. Three medallions, you see? Now we go up to the chapel. And if there is something that we can drink, we will drink it. Huh? Okay, this graveyard lacks proper maintenance. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Thank God that's over. Hmm. Oh, I wouldn't mind going back in order to get some of the health. <laughs> okay, this is not it. This word screwed. Okay. Huh. Is it possible? One second. Because I know we have some health. Huh. Eh, probably not worth it. Yeah, there should be health over here. Unless they respawn, in which case this whole shenanigans will not be worth it. Can't run here. Okay, grab this. Because I did not have... What is that? Ammo. Good. Well, at least I got the ammo and the shovel. I guess that makes it worth it. Let's just go back. Don't want to backtrack over here too much. Because first I'm going to get confused. A second, we're gonna die. And that is not a good thing. You see, I'm already getting a little bit confused. Okay. So, replace the things over here. The omen. The sacrifice. The bananas. Okay, how are we supposed to do this? Oh, they lined up. Okay. They line up like that, but I'm guessing this one goes over here. This one goes over there. 
That one is correct. This one would just rotate here. This one will rotate here. Okay, so the only thing that makes sense then is that this one goes over there. And this one, there. There it is. Okay, we got a dead lady over here. F for this lady. Please don't touch her. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made... I made a terrible promise with someone. The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name! He can hear us! He's always listening. The Dark Man is his name? Jeremy... Not like a nickname? I need to understand what is going on. Moniker? Promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. Well, you screwed up, bro. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. About to awaken. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Sorry. And what's all the business about Terawea? Why did you want to go there? I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! Well, I didn't see anything there. It was bad lightning. My everything. Clue. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroria. Oh, my love. Jeremy. Okay, love you too, bro. Love you too. That freaking no. What the hell? You got an achievement. Talk to Jeremy in the chapel. Okay. Luggage key. Key item. Oh, Jeremy Hardwood. Unlock Jeremy's steamer trunk. Okay. Yeah, we, we can do that. Jeremy didn't want to be seen. He felt the need to honor some deal he made with an entity called the Dark Man. Conby wanted to think it was ridiculous, but a brief encounter with that unbearable gloom had shaken him to his core. Conby had seen a lot of bad things in his life, but he had never before been this terrified. After gathering his thoughts, Conby figured he would need to chase after Jeremy in the only place left he could think of. He needed to go to Tarawea. Okay. 
So can we talk to this lady? Is she dead? She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. She's dead. Perosi's body looked unharmed. Conby couldn't figure out how she died, or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Okay, F for this lady. Starte Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. Yeah. Some ammunition or something? No. Where are we though? Okay, Jeremy's room is just outside and to the right. There's something in the sitting room. Oh yeah, the friend thing. The friends thing. Uh, something in the drawing room over there, in the small parlor. Maybe, maybe that was the thing for the lottie? Weird. Feel a little bit worried that we unlock something by pure chance. I don't know if it's going to break something down the line. Luggage key. Barlow lens. Okay. A lens that can be fixed to amateur telescopes to increase magnification. Okay, well. A telescope lens. Why would he lock that up? Because we can magnify things, bro. How do we get to the drawing room from here? Um, is it... Okay, we need to go down. Past the library. So to the left. To the left and down. Like over here. Go down here. And we enter here. We enter in this area. And we fix the thing there. Bartle lens. Okay. Adjust focus zoom. Okay. There it is. Find the talisman called in for Taroya. Okay. Okay, I guess we can do this, but is there anything that we should look around? Drawing room. Look at this, this is like a stone lady sitting here. There's another stone lady over there. Can I exit this? No, we can't. So we just gotta do this. Okay, those two line up. Okay, that lines up with that. This one lines up with that. 941. Let me just write that down. Oh, it's automatic. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? I don't know, but I just wrote it down. 
941 Charo A. What? So weird. Look, we're getting... Are you operational? Anything over there. Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Terraway? I don't know. Strange. Yeah. The talisman has shown that the gate will open in the dining room. Okay, so we need to go to the dining room. Ugh. Sorry, I was a little bit angry there. So, what do we have in terms... Okay, stop malfunctioning, damn it. We got this. We get two of those. Shut up. So, dining room. Um, we're here, so we need to just go across the library and to the right, and there's the dining room. There's, this is open now. Hey, automatic doors. And here. There it is. This is the dining room. And this is like the flower we saw in the vision. So the gate should open over here. Just keeping you on your toes. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it was a gate into chapter 3. The banana situation. Because everything is bananas in this place. So we're not in the dark exactly here. And like I said, not alone. Because I'm glad this to guy. see you made it. Hello. How are I you? had my doubts. But the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. A convent? The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. Oh. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. So okay. this is all bullcrap. So are you here to guide me or something? Do you I have, have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. Mm -hmm. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his uh. sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. Okay. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity, a spiritual apotheosis. Weird. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. Can he not but take I'm like here. a boss? <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. 
Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? And I will shake away the cloudy skies with the California lullaby. And when you're frozen with desire, we'll put our toes up to the fire. And I will sing your cares away. So let me take you back to Paris.